Today, ministers have agreed that there should be a short delay in moving fully to stage seven of the island's reconnection roadmap. However, a number of restrictions will still be lifted this coming Monday, the 14th of June. So from Monday, the legal requirement for you to wear a mask will be removed, except on public transport in the bus station and at the ports. However, I want to emphasize that masks are strongly recommended in healthcare settings and where physical distancing is difficult to achieve. So for example, in close contact services or whilst queuing. And from Monday, any number of guests may attend a wedding or civil partnership in a private home or garden. Now we expect the other stage seven measures to take effect a week later. So the plan is that standing drinking will be permitted at pubs and in bars from Monday the 21st of June and nightclubs will then be permitted to fully reopen for dancing and the limit of 20 people permitted at other gatherings and private homes and gardens will also then be lifted. Now this decision was taken because of a group of active COVID-19 cases whose direct contacts are currently being contact traced. So delaying stand-up drinking and the opening of nightclubs until the 21st of June allows time for contact tracing and testing to take place in relation to these cases and it will reduce the onward transmission in hospitality settings and hopefully it will avert any need to introduce more uh, restrictive measures in the coming couple of months. It also allows the completion of workforce testing throughout the hospitality industry. Now I'm aware this will be a huge disappointment to for some islanders and some businesses who had planned for full reconnection this coming Monday, especially nightclubs who have long anticipated reopening after 15 months. However, given ongoing contact tracing within hospitality settings, it is appropriate that we do not open the nightclubs at this stage. And I also want to strongly remind the members of the hospitality industry that it is a legal requirement to continue taking accurate contact details from all patrons to ensure that where cases emerge, contact can be traced quickly and effectively. And we've had some recent, but thankfully few circumstances where this has not happened, and it has impacted the ability of our tracing team to carry out their work properly. So if we want to avoid any further delays to our reconnection, we must all continue to work as a community to prevent the spread of COVID and keep one another safe. Now, I know this news may not be welcome to everyone. It is, however, a step forward, but at a slightly slower pace than we might have hoped. But given the good position we're in, I think it is important that we take this precautionary step to allow contact tracing to finish its work. Thank you for listening.